overcoming fear by saying and doing what is right. Pat King, I'm a major at our station 17. My uh, responsibility here is primarily supervisor of uh, an engine company. You know, provide some guidance or leadership on emergency incidents, interact with the community. I'm also a paramedic, so on occasion I primary care provider for, for patients that we respond to, which is probably the majority of our calls. When people see firefighters or think about the fire service, they think about the big explosion, the big house fires and, and running into burning buildings and, and that's all part of it too. But it's important that, that you can't just have blind courage. We have to take calculated risks and, and I guess that's part of my job too is to be able to evaluate the risk. Um, we risk a lot to save a lot, but we risk you know, little to say when something's already lost. So you have to have courage in order to step out and take those risks to save lives. One of the things that everybody finds as they grow older is that uh, there are things in life that require courage. Uh, whether it be taking on that first job, uh, whether it be a relationship, having kids, whatever it may be. Learning how to be courageous is a key part of what it means to be an adult to be successful but it's not something that we're born with you know when we are growing up it's something that uh, has to be cultivated and so when we talk about courage at work what does it mean to have boldness to have that confidence it's something that is a great conversation because we all need it but the truth is most of us don't know how to find it so working on it together gives us a greater chance of success in order to clarify what is important in my line of work it's a continual evaluation of the life safety need or the threat to life safety. In, in other jobs, it might be standing up for what's right or determining a financial risk. Continuing to evaluate uh, the need uh, for, for immediate action for life safety um, and to mitigate that is, is important for us. There are a handful of character qualities that require other character qualities to really understand it or to use them well. Courage is one of those because it requires discernment, it requires wisdom, it requires a number of other things to come together for that. Let me give you an example. It can take great courage to say to a customer, this isn't going to work. But if I'm dealing with a client that is continuously making life difficult for my team, they're abusing our team, disrespecting our team, at some point I have to decide, do I have the courage to say, this isn't going to work, even though it may hurt me in the short term. That moment requires me to be able to prioritize things in a way that lets my team know, you are the most important thing for us. That gives me the courage, the boldness, that to know that they have my back in the concept because we are together in it. In the firefighting business, it's important that we uh, realize that there's always uh, going to be challenges. We should expect resistance. We overcome uh, those by maybe looking at different options, um, reevaluating um, our uh, procedures, uh, looking at uh, different ways to solve the same problem. We always have a plan B in our hip pocket because uh, what I may think will do the job or complete a job may not always uh, be the best option. So that's when you rely on your team. My brother is someone I regard as courageous. He is an inner city school principal. When he goes into that school and says to the kids who are a part of that school, I believe that you can be something. That courageous statement brings resistance, even if all of us would look at it and say, that's the right thing. And, and I want you to be aware of that. Every time you do something courageous, resistance is uh, going to come as part of it. It is not to be avoided, it is to be expected. And so if I'm aware that my choice to be courageous is likely to bring that resistance, 
I'm at least prepared for it so that I'm not surprised emotionally, intellectually, that it's coming to me. That doesn't mean I stand down. It does mean I prepare myself. As an officer, as a supervisor of the station, it is extremely important to follow through on our promises, not only to um, the guys that I supervise, but the citizens. I mean, there's a level of of expertise that's demanded by the citizens who pay taxes for um, our services. And uh, oftentimes, you know, we, we can find ourselves in a comfort zone where it's a lot easier not to, uh, not to respond or not to go over and ab above, but um, to see something through to its end um, is, is, is very important for uh, firefighters. When you have um, made a stand that we're gonna do it this way, then the resistance comes, and that's when the, the real challenge emerges. Will I persevere uh, through that challenging time? What I don't like to tell people, but it's true, is that character is formed in this moment. When I have to persevere through a difficult time, my willingness to persevere is where my character is formed. And for you, holding that line, for you to be courageous in that moment is what gives other people hope. But in that moment, it may feel unbelievably uncomfortable, but your willingness to do the right thing because you know it's the right thing gives other people hope that, if, that, that maybe if you're willing to stand up, then other people could stand up too. Be aware that there's a price tag for courage, but also be aware that some things are worth the price. Remember these points, clarify what's important, expect resistance, and follow through.